are going to start working on the sail drive. Uh, we're going to remove the sail drives. Porque me hace recorrer como si fuera un guppy. Como si fuera un guppy. We are Le Juan Andrea, and we've been sailing the Caribbean for the past two years. But as you saw in the previous video, we had to haul out our boat and get some maintenance done. Hijo de puta. Today, we work on the sail drive, cone clutches, I'm going to remove the first cell drive, drain the oil, we're going to go up there, we're going to remove the comb clutch on the, uh, the port side. <laughs> I don't know, it's so hard to tell, right, when you're not up there. <laughs> So guys, we are going to remove the starboard side sail drive. Um, the first thing we do is remove this little cup here, right? Yes. So there's a bolt right here at the end. You remove that bolt and then this cone is like uh, a knot. So you just unscrew it. Once you unscrew it, you could just take out the propeller. And then the next step after the propeller is going to be the anode, which is right here. It has four screws. You remove the anode and then uh, I believe it's two screws and you take out the cell drive. That's it. Cool. So that's what we're going to be doing. What happened, baby? Our port side propeller is broken, the inside. Okay. So it has a little bit of play and it gives out vibration and that could damage the oil seal. So you can see all the play that it has. Okay. While Alejo is doing removing the sail drives of the starboard side, I am going to start taking off the sail drive boot of the port side, which is this thing that you see here. So there's a bunch of growth in there. I don't know if you can see it, but like it smells, it smells like fish. Uh, in there and there's a bunch of like barnacles and a bunch of stuff in there so we have to remove the boot um try not to break it but we'll see so this is how it looks inside when you remove the boot <laughs> pretty gross So we're gonna be removing the comb clutch of the cell drives. The cell drives that our boat has is the LSD50. So they tend to slip after certain hours. There's How many a hours? A 500, a thousand hours. Okay. So there's a fix for that, but it costs like 600, 500 dollars. So we didn't buy that in time and plus we don't wanna waste more money. We just do this every 500 or every thousand hours. So I'm gonna do it for the first time. So right here, we have the cell drive 50. So there's four bolts here, and the cone clutch is inside there. So what I did is mark this, which is the throttle. So I know where, like where it was, so I can put it back there, in the same spot. So we loosen these bolts, we take this off, and then this ones, we are gonna move the washer all the way to the end and try to push these bolts in. So the pinion gear will let us slip the clutch out without having to disconnect the, the, the gearbox from the engine. I loosen up the screws. The screw was all the way here. So I put the knot all the way to the end. And I was hitting it with a with this screwdriver and a hammer. And you, what you do is cut 
the the pinion in so you can take out the gearbox Flap. there's the gearbox and the bolts that go here you could use it to screw it in here and pull it out so that's what I'm gonna do yeah, a couple of twists and you can just pull it out oh. yeah yeah there we go coming up So now we are going to the starboard side of the boat to do the same thing, which is remove the cone clutch. Um, and that was our task for today. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> oh. like our, like a grandpa. Yeah. Oh. Hi, visitors. <laughs> or, or it might be solid. Can see my yeah, solid. not paying attention. So it's 7.40. I'm still working on this. Starboard side <laughs> and Andreas is gonna keep you updated down there. Thank you, baby. We picked up the dogs from the apartment since it's already cold. Well, not cold, cold, it's like not hot, <laughs> but so they're chilling. Alejo is still working on removing the cone clutch from the starboard side. It's really hard because it's rusted all around the screw, so it's very hard for him to remove the screw. So he's like putting. Um, WD-40, he's trying to put like an anti-rust, he's trying to put everything. I am working on getting rid of and t on taking the sail drive boot off and the reason why I wanted to record this is because I found an easier way to do it because I've been like trying to use just one side like for hours now and it's super hard because it's glued like it has like silicone all around it which makes it so hard to um to get it off right but here's what you do the trick is just like getting like a slight little opening like just with the you need um the biggest flat screwdriver that you have just like make a little opening through the silicone around the borders and then just like sort of put this the screwdriver i'll try to show you on the other side this one i have been working on all day and then what you do is like you start putting the screwdriver and then with a hammer, um, what you do is that you just hit the screw the screwdriver all around so you can like get rid of the silicone. Then just pull, pull. Oh, there you go. You have no idea how much time I'm saving you with this. I was like hanging from this, like trying to just use all my strength. Is this thing like made for? people that are super strong or something because I just couldn't get this off. The trick is you don't need any strength. And I was like exhausting myself by using all my strength. Just freaking flat screwdriver, put it in, boom, 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 hammer, pull, put it in, boom, 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 boom hammer, pull. That's the trick. Today's goal according to the schedule was to take the freaking sail drives out and the cone clutch. So we're not done with it yet. So we don't get to go home till we're done with it. The guys did make a lot of progress on the stripping of the paint. Not sure if you can see much, but they did both the the inside holes of both sides. They're pretty much, they stripped all the paint. So they should be uh, finishing the outside of the holes. That is it for today, guys. We will see you tomorrow for bo more boat work. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell button so you can be notified when we upload more videos for you guys. And you have to hit all the notifications, not just the personalized ones. So we will see you on the next one. Bye. We're still not getting it done, but he's gonna try, right? The moment of truth. This is the moment of truth. <laughs> We hope you enjoyed watching part two of the first two days of the boatyard. As you can tell, the work is far from over. So make sure to tune in on Sunday as we continue working our butts up to get Hakuna back in the water. See you Sunday.